you cower in and they're off and they come down the straight a little bit of chopping and changing at the beginning so you heard that comic star withdrawn before coming under starters orders but cashing in tucked in on the stand side rails in the middle of the field is Karui on the far side Chulu Hills but not much in it as they go down the back straight probably about less than a distance between the front marker cashing in on and then we have got Karui tucked in behind them Missouri the fancied runner Chulu Hills on the outside and Duke Hour in the middle of the field at the back at this stage but it is still cashing in the outsider taking them along from Karui Cashing in Missouri on the rails, Chulu Hills next, and at the back of the field still at this stage is Duke Hour. A lot of racing still to go as they head down to the end of the back straight and into the forest bend. It is taking them along still, cashing in about a length up on Karoe, Chulu Hills, and Missouri. And are still at the back, but well in touch of the field is Duke Hour. They turn for home and Missouri fading a little bit as they go around the bend. Duke Hour moving up into fourth place still at the front of the field though it is cashing in cashing in from chulu hills as they turn for home and having making some ground now is duke hour where money has been going karui fading a little bit so too is missouri but it's anybody's race as they come round into the home straight out in front at this point now making another move is Karui. Still hanging in there is cashing in. They're very well bunched as they come down. Trying to make a move now is Duke Hour. Duke Hour on the stand side rails, but it is Karui on the far side. Karui in the middle of the field still, though, cashing in, hanging in there as they come down with about 150 meters left to race. As they come past the grandstand, it is just now making last minute move. Duke Hour from Karui and cashing in. in that very emphatic fashion by debutant Duke Hour, written by James Mohende for trainers Joe Karare and Captain Oruya. And I'm joined here by the winning jockey, James Mohende. Uh, Mohende, he is a debutant, but you seemed traveling very well from the beginning. Started moving up towards the cemetery bend and when you asked him to go, that didn't seem like there was any doubt who the winner was going to be. Yeah, he's three years and he's a bit green. It was his first race. Uh, we have worked very hard with the, my trainer here. And we decided to run him with a strong field to see, to at least his, for him to run something. And he turned to be a good horse. Well, congratulations. Uh, I have the trainer of Duke Hour. Uh, Joe Karari. Joe, I was actually talking to some people out here and saying Duke Awa is very well bred from Duke of Marmalade. Duke of Marmalade has even sired winners in the UK. He's now in South Africa. And the way he raced out there, there didn't seem like there was much competition and it looks like he's very well bred and will go on to be stronger. We were lucky to get him in the auction and I'm happy of the way Mohindi has ridden him. We have been patient uh, with him as a two-year-old. We knew we gave him time to mature enough. He was still uh, green when racing and still coltish, but he has sh shown us that uh, there's something that he can give us come to the classics. Well, one for the classics, I'm sure. Uh, he has done it right today, and uh, we are going to work towards that. We wish you all the best. Don't go too far, there'll be a presentation. And the full results of our third race, the Tuscamalt Handicap, the winner, horse number six, Duke Hour, second horse number three, Karowe, third horse number two, Cashing In, fourth horse number four, Miss Zuri, and fifth horse number five, Chulu Hills. And we are very grateful to our new CEO, Mr. David Markham, who is on hand to present the goodie bags to the winning connections of Duke Hour. And without further ado, Mr. Markham, please present the first goodie bag to Captain Oruya on behalf of Mr. Farah, who owns Duke Hour. 
Makofu kwake tafadhali. Very big hand. And the next good bag goes to the man aboard Duke our James Mohende. Makofi ya Mohende. And on behalf of the trainer, he is a trainer, but Captain Oruya will share with him later. And you can make sure everything is there. And yeah, Joe, you'll get the goodie bag. And David goes with the contents. Very many congratulations to the winning connections of Duke Awa. And thank you to David Markham for the presentations.